Yeah. I got blue. Your favorite color. Y'all favorite color. Put it in your room. Okay. Okay. Y'all want to see other toys? What other toys do you guys want to see? No. <laughs> scary. That's a scary one. That's a scary one. I heard your tummy hurt today in school. Yeah. Mommy. Yes. Look, I got a book for y'all. It says going to the firehouse. Can you see it? You see it? Tell Prince to come to the phone, Zion. Well, I think he's right there, but move a little bit closer. Look, look at the firehouse. It says, today my class is going to the firehouse. Look, it says, I dress like a fireman. Time to fight a fire. You see it? Look at the phone, baby. OK. And that will happen soon, baby. But right now, I want you to be good. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I understand you want to come home. I understand. Mm -hmm. And mommy loves y'all. But mommy mm -hmm. still wants you to be good. Do you understand? You understand? Are you with you heard me? Brown, okay? You heard me, baby? You said why you have to go to different houses? I know it. Look at me. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. But y'all are coming home soon, OK? What you want to be, Prince? You want to be an astronaut? You want to be an astronaut, too? No, he don't. You guys have two more minutes left. All right, mom, okay. mommy got to get ready to go, OK? I got to get ready to go, OK? Mommy love y'all, OK? You don't have to do anything but rest. You don't have to do anything but inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. Allow yourself to go to a place that brings you joy, peace, abundance, prosperity, happiness. Where are you? Who is there? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Does it have a taste, a sound? Create the perfect dream, the perfect reality, the perfect moment of peace. You love mommy? I love you too. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Say cheese. We're going to take about another minute or so. These journals are yours to have, to keep, and to hold. But the more that you practice, the more you choose it, the more you move forward, the more you heal, the more you begin to realize that you really are fully in control and that you always have been and that you are the winner. Dear Alexis, I know right now you're feeling overwhelmed because you've been fighting the corrupt and broken system of CPS for your babies for three long, hard years. These three years of dealing with CPS has been extremely difficult, having your babies ripped away from you when God has blessed you with these beautiful gifts, your babies. This morning, amen. Um, I still have to go to work. I still have to still provide for my children, even though they're not with me. I pay child support, so I still have to be there mentally for my children. I have to go to my visitations and watch my children suffer before my eyes. And when it's time to leave, what rips my heart the most is the fact that when my children cry and beg to come home, and follow after me. I just want to pick them up and just take them with me. But I know I can't right now.
There's a lot of things that I wish I could go back and change. Um, they took my daughter, um, and then I had my son in 2020, and then they also took him. I've been fighting to get them back for almost going on four years now. Um, I had a case open with Takel. They closed the case because he's well taken care of. Um, and now they're trying to terminate my rights and place my oldest two children up for adoption. Their reasons on doing that is because the case has been open for so long. Um, I've done everything that they asked me to do, and they still won't give me my kids back. Well, we are certainly um, in agreement with the children coming home, you know, especially you have done what they have asked you to do. And um, so now they need to do what's right and give them back to you. Father, we bring your daughter to you. Callie, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask you, Father, for mercy right now. Father, I ask you, you touch every official, every judge, every lawyer, everybody got it that is involved in this case. We plead the blood over her right now, Father. And Father, I ask you, Lord, that you lift up her countenance in the name of Jesus Christ. Give her peace and joy in the name of Jesus. Strengthen this woman of God. Hallelujah. Father, for you have great and mighty things for her. Protect those children, God. Hallelujah, God, wherever they may be. And God, we believe and we trust that you're going to bring them back home to her in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch, Father. You can do what we can't do. So I'm just ready. I'm ready for my kids to come home. And then the power of just going right on down, right to the <laughs> right here. Uh -huh. down, just fight. How you feeling? I'm ready. I'm ready for my babies to come home. I'm gonna keep fighting. Um, no matter what, how many stumbling blocks they try to put on my way, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep fighting for my babies. I know that's right. And they're coming home. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready to go? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bring our babies home now. Right now. Dear Kelly, you have been through a lot. You have changed for the best of you and your children. Right now, I am so proud of you because even though you have so much going on, you keep your head up high. You don't let anyone or anything get in the way of you getting what you need to get done. Each and every day, I hope for my babies to come home with me and their brother and all the people that love them and care about them and that will do anything to keep them safe. Mommy's almost there, okay? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you when I get there, okay? I love you. Happy birthday, dear Philip. Happy 
Bye. I have a court date tomorrow on the 5th and it's reunification time. And I'm hopeful and believe and trust that my children and I will be reunified tomorrow. Pretend like none of us are in this room and you talking to this judge. And, and when you finish saying what you say, the judge is gonna say, I believe you, your kids are gonna come home. That's the kind of passion and that's how you need to speak. Mm -hmm. It's okay to read it. It's not about memorizing the words. It's about saying it from the heart right. so that they can see you as a human being. Cause right now you a number, a case number on a piece of paper. Right. Okay, so do it that way. Okay. I would like to make a statement because my voice have been muted for far too long. I'm standing before you as a mother who has been robbed of irreplaceable time with my children. I am standing before you as a mother who has been forced to watch my children, Zion and Prince, suffer trauma on top of trauma because all of these people refuse to stop and listen and see the truth. This is the 1,082nd day my children have been in foster care. We cannot allow it to be day 1,083. This past Thursday, attorney Abney called my attorney and told her that the department would be recommending my children come home today. For the first time in almost three years, I was able to sleep peacefully because I could feel the moment my babies were going to walk through the door to our home. My family has been through enough. We've been through enough. I'm not here today asking for more time with my children. I'm here requesting the immediate return of Prince and Zion to my care and custody and the determination of the department and court's jurisdiction over my family. That is the only way my family can begin to heal. I need to be able to level my babies tonight without the thought of dealing with the same people who have been the cause of our trauma and pain. But I'm at peace right now because I believe you will see me today. Alexis, when the mother of Prince and Zion, remember my babies. These are the human beings caught in the middle of all of this. Just send my babies home. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. So. Okay, well we, I mean at this point we just need to send up energy to the judge and tomorrow we hear the final decision of if the boys come home, right? And, and we got to believe that. I'm going to say this real strong. <laughs> and if you don't listen to, say, listen to me at this point, it is what it is, use your voice tomorrow. Ask to read your statement. Ask to read your statement. You need her to see you as a person, as a mother. And a, and a mother is going to make a strong argument about why her children needs to be at home. And this is what I have done. I was in a terrible situation, but this is where I'm at now. And this is how my family has worked to heal. She didn't hear any of that today. Zion and Prince. Mommy can't wait till y'all come home Amen. so that we can make up for all the missed times. Y'all tell everybody to have a wonderful day, to have a good day. But Mommy will always be our superhero because I'm not going to stop fighting for y'all. Sometimes superheroes have bad times, bad days. Sometimes they may lose something in a moment, lose a battle in a moment. But one thing they always do is get back up and they keep fighting until they win. And Mommy's going to win this case and get y'all back home. I have more visitations with my children, meaning that I have unsupervised visitations. Um, I get to take pictures of my kids again. I get to have my virtual calls back. Um, and I'll be spending time with my kids this Saturday um, at our church. Um, 
and DSS tried to recommend one hour on um, unsupervised visitation, but the judge granted three hours. So, happy about that. She has done everything. Right. She's done everything that she was supposed to do. And so, like, mm -hmm. this system has a way of, like, Put it, giving us crumbs and making us feel, you know what I mean? And that's just the reality of the situation. Right. But at the same time, we have to, like, feel that, accept that, and move forward. I'm sorry. I thought you got to this thing out. Oh, how are you? Okay. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we will not be able to have the DMT next week. Chantel is unavailable, and Mark is going to be out the whole entire week next week. Okay. So, you, do you want to reschedule it to the week after, or do you just not, don't want to have it? Um, no, that's fine. I, okay. I'll just wait then. Okay. Um, I was trying to, you know, get a meeting going before the court hearing, um, but that's fine. Okay. And just to, and just to also let you know, just so it can be on your mind, because you are representing yourself sometimes when there's like information I guess that needs to be shared because you are like quote quote like your own attorney mm -hmm. our attorney will have to be there as well so okay yes ma'am but thank you so much okay bye bye Amaya, Philip, and Takel. Mommy is fighting so we can all be a family. I spend every day trying to get you, Amaya, and Philip home, where you guys should be. I love y'all. I knew I loved y'all the first time I held y'all in my arms. I knew then we were meant to be. I feel so bad that I can't come and get y'all. And I feel even worse when y'all ask to come home with me. And I have to say that y'all can't and that y'all will be home soon because y'all should be home now. I miss y'all so much that I can't even explain. I want y'all to know mommy love y'all and it is nothing that anyone or anything that can stop that. You guys will always be mommy's number one, no matter what. Oh. <laughs> I see. Whoa! I jumped the high. You did. <laughs> he got jumped. 